Trade Ideas users. Uh, version 5.5 .5 Trade Ideas with the docking is now out. Uh, we're going to do a quick run through, show you how to dock, a few tips that I have for docking, and then a finished product of how I'm using the docking. Uh, we're going to start here, simple layout, uh, three charts across the top, three different time frames, uh, pretty common setup that people like to have. And we start with a right click, like most things in Trade Ideas, and we're going to find Duplicate into New Docking Window. That will give us this here. I do recommend keep the dock a little bigger uh, when you are moving, docking, organizing inside. <clears throat> we continue to right click and so we start with the first option, duplicate in a new docking window. Second option, duplicate into Trade Ideas Pro Dock New. This will be the dock we just created. One, two, right click and again right here, three. We can see we're tabbed across the top, daily, 15 and five minute charts. We pull these charts out of those tabs and they look semi free floating however they're ready to be able to dock with the tool that's over here you can pull them out if that's what you wanted to do for whatever reason however they're all set to go into tabs uh, if we look we can see here in the middle there is this tool that's where you're going to want to bring the docks to or excuse me bring the windows to to get the docking and as you move it around you can see how you can dock above below and to the sides. Uh, one tip that I have that seems to help me with getting the docks organized is try to grab whatever window you're docking as close to the left as you can. Seems to give a little more control when you're getting near that tool as we can see. Just giving examples here of how the tool and the dock work together to fit these windows. And so we can see right here if I wanted to go side to side to keep those charts organized like I had. One, two, three start to size like columns and again I think when you're going into an area where to dock uh, it's best to give yourself as much space as you can uh, once again same concept one two three and now from here we can grab in the corner and begin to size this docking window how we like for organizing the layout and there we go that would replace those three free floatings up there and again sizing just like the columns you would on any of your scans or top lists We'll move on to a next set of docks here and if we right click we can see two options on the docking duplicate into new docking which would create a completely new dock or into the trade ideas pro dock which would create this window duplicated into this dock that we created up here we're going to go with a new one because i want to show you how to use this as three separate docks if you will we'll move these around a little bit so that we can get these all in there and now we have a few options again here duplicate into the new docking window. That's a completely separate one that would bring us a third dock. This was the first dock that we created. That's here, first option, first dock. So that's the charts that we did. And then this is the new one that we just created here. So one, two, three, and right click. Whoops. Let me just get rid of that right there. There we go, four. Now we can begin to start to build this second dock that's here. Again, I think it's best to take this from the left side and this will give you the option over here. With the tool, like I said, leave it kind of big. It makes it easier. And it can be a little tricky to get some of these in there. see we got an up and down if we like we didn't do that right we can once again pull it from the tab and we can bring it back in I suggest playing with these getting a little creative you know there's a lot of options that you can use for organizing you set one layout up you don't like it of course you start over again resize move the tabs you know get creative with these things organizing your data is just as important as the data that's coming in in my opinion all right so there's one two three four and once again we can bring this down resize it organize it how we like and now we have two floating docks here separate yet keeping things organized so we don't have all these free floating windows here uh, what I'd like to do now is I'm going to load a layout that I use show you kind of a finished finished product here. So we'll give 
this in a minute as we load up. And on this screen here, I have three separate docs. Nice, clean, neat, and organized as they come in and load. Looks similar to what we just built together. And the reason that I like to have three separate docs like this is during the day, you know, there's different tasks that I work on. I'm sure that many of you are doing the same thing. And so, for example, if I have a web browser up here and I'm working something here, or I have a Excel doc or a Word doc or anything else that's going on, and let's just say that I see something going interesting on a set of charts and this was blocking, by just clicking those charts, those three charts will come up here, but I still might be able to see what I'm working on here or reading here. Uh, same kind of concept, so we can click different docs and bring those all in like that so that we don't have just one doc that's going to dominate the entire screen on me and I can break it apart into these sections like that for my own reasons of organizing and different tasks that I have going on for the day. I hope this video helps. Of course, you know, info at trade-ideas.com is the email. Hit us anytime on that and there's also our live chat on our website using the orange questions and answer bubble on the right side. All right, thanks for watching everybody and we'll catch you on the next video.